Hi guys and welcome to Switch Fitness. My name is Natalie and today we've got a Pilates video for you. So make sure that you start up and make sure you're nice and warm before we get started because there's no warm up with this video. We're going to get started and we're going to come through our, make sure we're in our Pilates feet first. So you want to make sure your feet are hip distance apart and that you've got weight through the toes and through the heels. Again, coming up through the body, remember pelvic floor and core is engaged, 30% engagement at all times. So you want to make sure that that's working all the way through but it's not restricting the breath. Roll the shoulders back from here and then you're just going to lift the chin as if you're looking out over the horizon. So to start with we're just going to start with our feet. So what I want you to do here is roll through, peel in the heel away first so that you come up so that the toe is engaged with the mat. So we've still got weight through both feet here then take it down and place it onto the other side and start with the other. So you're thinking about here as if maybe you're trying to pull your heel out of some mud or as if there was chewing gum stuck to the bottom of it. So it's a nice slow movement okay and as you come through. So just work through that means we're working all the way through our feet all of the muscles all of the bones are working rather than it being just a quick rush movement. Good so lift through and to the other side. This time we're going to come through and then we're going to come to the other side, bring it up to the ball of the foot again and then we're going to transfer, so you're going to transfer the weight through the top through into the demi point and then you're going to come back down. So here you're on your toes in the change and then you come down. You don't have to hold it for too long and if you want to give it a go but you don't feel too stable you can always hold on to a chair or something as you work through. Having the core engaged that we were talking about before is really going to help with this. Any, any work that comes through balance is really challenging for our core, so it's really good. The core's going to hold you there in position. Good, okay, so a couple more of these as we work through and to the other side. Okay, one more each side. And then last one. This time you're going to come through, bring the foot down to the floor and then you're going to come through onto the other side but you're going to work all the way through to the toe. So now our weight is completely transferred over to the other side so there's no weight in this foot. We're just keeping the toe down onto the mat to make sure that our body gets used to it. Okay, So we don't want to maybe take it away straight away, you might feel a bit uncomfortable with the balance. Good, so come through again, peel through, just leave the toe engaged and then switch to the other side. So you can test that you've got no weight in that toe just by giving it a little lift, make sure that you can lift it up. Now if you feel comfortable and you want to give that toe a lift, you can come bring in the knee a little bit higher and then transfer the weight down, come to the other side. Okay, so this is only if you feel comfortable, you can always keep that toe engaged with the mat. You don't have to lift the knee if you don't want to. Still works the balance. As long as there's no weight into that toe and it's all transferred, you can leave that toe down if that makes you feel a little bit more steady. Good, okay, one more like this. And then we're gonna come through to our balance work. Good, okay, so place this down and then transfer. So transfer the weight over, either keeping the toe onto the floor or lifted completely up to you. Our hands come into the chest. From here, make sure you fix your eyes onto something that's not moving. So maybe a position on the floor, just to help with the balance, okay? Bring the arms in. Then you're going to take the arms out to the side, bring them back into the centre, take them up into the air, bring them down through into the centre, and then you're going to transfer the weight back over, keeping the arms in the centre here. Good, transfer the weight over, lift, and then from there you're going to take the arms out to the side, good, come back into the centre, and then take them up. Remember, you can keep doing this with the toe down onto the floor. Just work through. And if you don't balance the first few times, it doesn't matter, you can just keep practicing it. Good, lift the toe. Take the arms out to the side. Bring them into the center. And then take them to the top. So if you really wanted to challenge yourself as you're working through here with the balance, you can do it with your eyes closed. Okay, it makes balancing obviously a lot more difficult, but if you're feeling really steady, then you can try it with your eyes closed. Remember, if you start to wobble, open your eyes though. Don't fall over, just keeping your eyes closed. You don't have to. Good, and coming back to the centre. And then from there, bring that weight down into the centre. Good, okay. So, coming to the edge of our mats now. From here again, into our neutral position. So we want to make sure that we've got a nice long line lifting up through the top of the head. 
Okay, so nice and tall here. Take an inhale through the nose. As you exhale, nod the chin in towards the chest and start with your roll down. So we're gonna roll all the way through the shoulders. Let them come forward nice and heavy. Keep the knees soft if you need to, to help with your lower back. Good, when you come down to the mat, walk the hands out along the mat and start up coming into your all four position. Good, okay. So we're gonna start here in our all four position. Make sure that the tummy's pulled in towards the spine as always, nice long neutral line through the spine. So we're not lifting our head here and we're not letting it drop. Want to think about having the spine nice and long. Also don't arch into the lower back here or round it round here. So you just want to come through nice and neutral. If you've got a mirror, just check that you're nice and long through the spine here. Okay, so to start with, we're gonna take an inhale. As you inhale, you're gonna take the fingertips away in front of you and then exhale them back to the center. And then we're gonna do alternate arms. So we're just starting with just the arms first. Out and away, and then back to the center. This time you're gonna take a toe away. So you're gonna slide it away as you inhale and then you're gonna exhale, come back to the center. Good, and then inhale, other side, take the toe away, and exhale in together. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take one hand, so everybody start with the right hand, and you're gonna take your opposite leg away, so you're taking the left foot away. So inhale, take them away, let them reach the same point together, so all the way out at the same point, and then back in as you come through, let them reach the center together. Good, now with the other side, you're gonna inhale away, exhale back in together. So still thinking about having that belly button pulled towards the spine. If you're happy here and you want to, to challenge yourself a little bit more, you're gonna let the toe and the, um, the fingertips come away from the mat this time. So you're gonna inhale away again as before, and then you're gonna reach it to a lifted point. Good, nice and strong through the center, through the core, and then exhale back in together. If you don't feel comfortable with it lifting and it, you can't hold it here in a balance, you can just stay neutral. Good, and then you can just leave it here onto the floor. You don't have to lift it. Good, back into the center. Let's do one more each time, each side. Inhale away, into the center. Good, and then all the way back in. And onto the other side. Take it out and away. And then come back to the center. Good, and then draw it all the way in. Good, okay, so coming now into our seated position. So I'm gonna come into a cross leg position. You can also do that, or you can take the feet out and away, okay? If you're not comfortable here in a seated position, you can come to a high kneeling position. So you can come here up to the top and do it from this position instead. If you find it quite difficult to sit tall in your seated position, you can always pop a yoga block underneath your bottom if you've got one, or you can sit on a towel, anything that helps you lift up, because you want to think about lifting nice and tall before we get started. So we're gonna place one hand down onto the mat. From here, inhale, take that hand high. Then you're gonna exhale. As you lift, exhale over first, then bring the side bend in making sure that the hips stay down onto the mat. So just to show you what I don't want to see, I don't want to see this side lifting away from the mat, okay? Keep it down, let the side bend happen through the spine and come back to the center. Also thinking here, don't have the shoulders right up by the ears. Exhale away, inhale back to the center. Give me one more here. Exhale up and over. Good, inhale to the center, exhale, change the arms. Good, lift first and then over. Again, make sure that hip stays down and lift back to the center. Lift first and then over. So just a side bend, no rotation. Good, two more. Exhale over, inhale and lift. And last one, exhale over, inhale back to the center and bring the arm down. 
good. From here, staying in that seated position. Again, make sure you're nice and tall, belly button pulled in. Take the fingertips together, place the index finger here onto the chin, and then place the thumb onto the breastbone. So the reason that we do this here is so that we can't lead with our chin. So I don't want to see this, no chin leading, okay? Keep it all nice and in line. Take an inhale, scoop the belly button towards the spine, exhale, take a rotation round to the other side. So our hips stay facing forward, it's just a rotation through the spine. Good, inhale to the center, exhale, now we go to the other side, exhale round. So you just work with whatever position you can. If your rotation is smaller or bigger than mine, that's fine. Exhale away. And inhale back to the center. Good, give me one more of these. Exhale and round. And inhale to the center. So if you're comfortable with this head position and you don't feel like you're leading with your neck, you're going to take the hands here now. So still nice and tall, take an inhale, shoulders away from the ears, exhale, take a rotation round. Again, whichever position you feel comfortable with. Inhale back to the center. Good, exhale round to the other side this time. And inhale back to the center. One more each side, exhale and twist. Inhale back to the center. Last one, exhale all the way round. And then inhale back to the center. Good, okay, so from here, coming into our seated position, lengthways along the mat. So we're gonna come into our rolling like a ball. So remember, if anybody has got any problems with their spine, or they're not happy to do the rolling like a ball as they come up through here onto the neck, then you don't have to. So our little prep for this, so this is the exercise that you're gonna stay with if you don't want to do rolling like a ball. Make sure you're seated tall, nice and long through the top of the head, arms are forward. You inhale here. Then you exhale, tilt through the pelvis, come all the way down as if you were gonna to come to lie on the mat. So you're nice and long and away. Tummy's pulled towards the spine, and then you inhale, come back up to the top. So just to show you one more time, exhale down and away. Nice long line, and then inhale back to the top. Okay, so that's the exercise that you're gonna stay with if you don't want to do the rolling like a ball. If you're happy to do like rolling like a ball or give it a try, you're gonna bring the hands here to the backs of the legs. Then bring the toes up onto their tiptoes so there's not any weight on it. Sit tall through the top. From here, take the toes off and hold here in a balance. Inhale, as you exhale, tilt the pelvis under, roll through, come to the shoulders, and then come to the top to end in a balance. Good, exhale, tilt the pelvis under, roll through, inhale to the top. Okay, if you're happy with that, we're gonna try it without the hands. So this is here, so we can't use momentum. Good, exhale, tilt to the top. Use those lower abdominals to hold yourself in a balance. Good, again, exhale, tilt, roll, and then come back to the top, holding in a balance. So we can stay with either of those, either holding on, or doing the roll with just the arms, whichever you feel comfortable. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, we're gonna take the seal. So you're gonna take the hands around the legs and you're gonna take the hands, the feet into the hands. And then we're gonna do, just like a seal, we're gonna do a little clap here. So you're gonna do three claps here and then you're gonna roll back and do the claps at the top. So just to demonstrate, you hold here in your balance. One, two, three, roll, one, two, three, come back to the top. One, two, three, roll. One, two, three, give it a go. One, two, three, roll, hold. One, two, three, come back. One, two, three, last one, hold. One, two, three, come to the top, take the feet away and place them down. Good, so as you go through, just a little progression that you can use there. Start off with rolling like a ball that you feel comfortable with, and then just try and progress as you go through week by week. Starting with the hands behind the legs, 
holding here. So it's really important when we come to our arms off that you're holding in that balance at the top and at the back as you roll up onto your neck. Then you can come through to the holding the feet and doing the little taps because it's going to help you holding it there if you're used to balancing, okay? So remember, if you don't get it right the first time, if you can't hold it there, it doesn't matter. We're just going to progress as we go through, okay? So you can do that into your own time. Good, okay. So our next little bit, we're going to come through we're going to roll down and then come back up again. So sit tall, shoulders away. Again, the belly button's pulled in, nice long line through the spine and up. Take an inhale. As you exhale, tilt the pelvis under, so just like the prep, prep we did before. But this time you are going to come all the way down. Good. Roll all the way down, then take the arms up and over. From here, take an inhale. Exhale, bring the arms over when they get to shoulder height. You're going to start to roll through with the body. Come to the top, sit tall. Good. Exhale, come all the way down. Roll through the pelvis, nice and slow and controlled. Down to the mat, inhale the arms up and over. Good. Exhale, lift. Coming all the way up this time. Good to the top. Now you can take this with bent knees like I have just done or you can take it with a straight leg. So to demonstrate the straight leg position, again it's exactly the same. Tilt the pelvis under with an exhale. Then roll all the way back. Make sure the lower back stays into the mat. Exhale, bring the arms over and then start to roll up, pulling the belly button towards the spine. Good. Exhale, roll all the way down. And then inhale, roll the arms up and over. Exhale, lift. Rolling again, all the way through. Bring that eye line down towards the navel. Let's do one more time. Exhale, down and away. Rolling through all the vertebrae, bringing it down to the mat, nice, slow and controlled. Inhale the arms up and over. Exhale, lift. Come all the way up to the top. Good. And then we're just going to bend the feet in and then we're just going to roll it all the way down to the mat. So just like you have done, nice and slow and controlled, working through all of the vertebrae until you come down to the mat. Good. Place the hands down onto the floor. So get yourself in a nice comfy position. Bring the feet slightly closer to the bottom for this one. So we're going to go up into our shoulder bridge. So we want our feet nice and close. If you need to just grab the feet in to bring them a little bit closer, then please do. So from here, making sure the lower back is into the mat. Then you're going to tilt that pelvis a little bit more and come all the way up into your shoulder bridge position. Make sure you can see your legs. You want a nice long line from the knee down to the shoulders. So you don't want to let the rib cage lift here. Okay, nice and strong through. Core is pulled in and we're nice and strong in this position. From here, if you are happy to do so, you're going to let one leg lift to the ceiling. So we're going to hold it here in this lifted position. Then our leg, we're going to bring it down to meet the other one and then take it high. Lift and then lower. Bring it down. Take it high. Lift and then lower. Good. Down and up, lift and lower, three more, down and up, lift and lower, two more, down and up, lift and lower, last one, down and up, lift, lower, come through tabletop, bring the leg down, keep the hips high, take that other toe, through tabletop, take the toe up, good. Then we lower, then we lift, lift the hips and down, good. So we still stay lifted. Make sure the hips never come down to the mat, good. Lift and down, all the way down and up. Strong through the core, keep breathing. So you're gonna exhale and inhale, exhale and lower, good down and lift exhale and lower last one here down and lift 
to the top and then come through tabletop down and then roll all the way down good from here you're going to hug the knees in towards the chest and just give them a little rock in towards the body good so from here we're going to come into a side lying position so you're going to just switch yourself over starting on whichever side you feel comfortable first so you can come with the head just onto the the hand here or you can come flat down to the bottom completely up to you so our bottom leg is going to come in bent and to start with we're going to keep this top leg bent as well so make the little gap between them and then from here you're just going to lift and lower so we're not coming too high keeping those thighs in line and making sure that that gap stays between the legs at all times so you're not going to close it completely and come to a full rest Again, even here in sideline, we're still thinking about that core being engaged. You want to draw the navel in towards the spine and help to support that lower back. Good. Lift and lower. Two more here. Good. So you're going to inhale up. Exhale away. Okay, good. So from here, you're going to take the toe down towards the bottom. So we're still lifted. Hip height here. You're going to bring that knee all the way in towards the body and then take it down and away. So you're just bending up to the centre and then extending the toe away to bring it with a straight line here. So bring it in and then take it away. Good, let's do three more. All the way in and all the way out. So the leg stays lifted, we don't let it drop, don't let it touch that other leg. Working through that hip joint. Good. And then bring it in for the last one. Take it down and then come to bring that, bring that leg to meet the other one. Again, still keeping that gap. From here, all you're going to do, keep the thigh exactly where it is, but you're going to extend out with the toe and then take it back in. So just bring that toe forward and then take it down and away. Good. Forward and back in three more times. You can do it, so just keep it lifted, working through a nice big range of movement. Good, we've got one more. All the way out and then bring it back in. This time, take it out and then we're just going to take some little circles. So you're going to bring it down and lift it up. Down and up. Good. Down and up. Two more here. Down and up. Last one. And up to the top. Then you're going to take it in the other direction. Really work through that whole joint. Inhale for half. Exhale for half. Good. Inhale for half. Exhale for half. You'll feel it working in that joint. That's absolutely fine. That's what we're here to do. Good, we've got two more to the top. Last one, don't let it get smaller to the top. Bend the leg in, bring it down. Good, okay. So we're gonna take it over to the other side now. So switch over so that you've got your other leg on top. Make sure that we're working both sides so that we're nice and equal. Good, so coming down again, dependent if you want to come all the way down or with that hand under the head to support through the neck here. So the legs are up again into that 90 degree angle, toes to the front of the mat, so you've got a nice box shape here. So lift that top leg again, all you're going to do to start with is lift and lower. So we lift up and we lower, good, lift and lower. So we know what's coming. We've only got four exercises. Lift and lower. Good. And all the way up and down. Again, really thinking about keeping that belly button drawn in. So you're inhaling as you lift, same as before. Exhale and down. Let's have two more. Inhale and down and exhale and down. Good. We're going to take that toe away so that the leg is straight and you're in a nice long line from the top. Then bring the knee all the way in and then take it out and away. So this time we exhale as we draw it in and then we inhale as we lengthen. Good. Exhale 
and inhale. We've got three more. Exhale and inhale. Two more. All the way in. All the way down. And the last one, all the way in and take it down. Good, okay, come into that bent position so you're in line with the other one. Now you just bring the toe, extend it forward and bring it in. Good, so take the toe forward and bring it in. So work that full range of movement, don't let it get any smaller, we've only got three more. All the way out and all the way in, good. All the way out and all the way in. Last one, out and in, take it out and leave it out and then we're gonna circle it. So again, inhale for half, exhale for half. We've got five in one direction and then five in the other. Good. This is our third, all the way up to the top. Don't let it get any smaller. Good, to the top. Last one, all the way up and then take it in the other direction. Good, inhale for half. Exhale for half. Inhale and exhale. Three more. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale to the top. Bring it down and in. Good. Well done. Okay, so our very last exercise. We're going to come on to our front. So here we're going to come into our swimming exercise. So we did the prep for this earlier when we were on all fours. So it's opposite arm and opposite leg. So we'll just get used to doing the arms and the legs separately. So keep the eye line down towards the spine. Take an exhale, draw the navel in towards the spine. Then you're going to take an inhale, lift one arm, exhale and lower. Now with the other arm, inhale and lift exhale and lower with the legs you're going to take an inhale and lift exhale and lower other side inhale and lift exhale and lower so you can continue doing that or you can add the legs and the arms together so opposite arm opposite leg so right arm left leg so you're going to inhale and lift exhale and lower Inhale and lift, exhale and lower, good. Inhale and lift, exhale and lower. Inhale and lift, exhale and lower, good. So that's your basic start movement. We're gonna do it now, try and get a little bit of coordination going. Now if coordination is not your strong thing, don't worry about it, you can just continue with what we've been doing. If you're happy to give it a go, take an exhale and then inhale, lift both all the arms and the legs together. Then take one arm and one leg high and then from there you're going to switch. So keep breathing, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, bring it down to the mat. Good, we're going to do it three more times. Inhale and lift, then we go one arm, one leg and inhale and exhale inhale and exhale inhale and exhale bring it down one more time exhale here inhale and lift one arm opposite leg and inhale and exhale inhale and exhale inhale and exhale bring it down good and then push the weight all the way back Stretch through that back. Stretching the fingertips as far away as possible. And just hold it here for a moment. Good, okay, so bringing it up. So I hope you enjoyed all those exercises. Remember, you're gonna need a cool down now if this is gonna be the last thing you do today. So make sure you're nice and stretched, everything that you've worked today. Thank you for joining me and I hope to see you again soon. This has been Switch Fitness and I'm Natalie.